doing today? Me and John, we out here early in the morning. We go through the time you know? real. We, 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 what, what, what we, 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 what we doing today? We actually, we actually on the fishing pier, uh, Seaview Fishing Pier. Yeah, yeah. In North Tonsa Beach in North Carolina. And uh, look, yeah, see this how I was set up this morning right here. You got John, John just got a hit. Let's see what he got. You, you got him on? Oh, he's got on. See that, that, that he, he, he said the fish on, but anyway, uh, we targeting sea mullet today. That's what we're trying to catch. Now again, it's like 6.30. Oh, Wait for the sun to come up and um, hopefully we'll have a good day today. We got a few other individuals out here. You can see right down the, right down the pier. Again, this is Seaview Fishing Pier. Early in the season. So, uh, hey look, we hope we get some of those sea mullet. Well, like John got one on. Let's see this. Let's see this. You see? You, you feel the man? Man, All right, that's what we out there right there. Let me see him, John. See this? Oh yeah. It's sea mullet right here. Oh yeah. That's what we out there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, let's do it again, man. Shoot. Look, I'm not doing too good right now. I caught one mother. That's it. But it's still early. Just got to have a little patience. Got another one on, man? Let's see. You don't look too excited, though, bro. Well, you know, I want to be humble with you. You know what I'm saying? I don't necessarily want to show off people. Peace aside. You, you you throwing that and bite, right? Well, probably not. Hey, he he need to throw that one back. Not. Don't keep that baby fish, man. Let that baby fish go. You want? Uh, uh I'm after the big boy. Oh. Tell you what, just a sandwich right here. You hear me? Sandwich. He don't not throw nothing back. The only thing I throw back is taxes. Yeah, that's a nice one there. Yep. Got one. Got one. See what size is it? Not a big one. But it's a sea mother. There we go. He said that's a decent size. John said, look, I want ho horses, man. Oh, snap. See here. Hey. Y'all think I have to keep this mud? I tell you what, put him in the Put him in my crew. Man. Put him in my crew. But hold on. Yeah, put him in my crew. Alright. I'm going to keep this one. No, no, don't Because if they run that size, it is what it is. I can't get a couple of fillets out of it. So let's put him in the cooler. Hey, look, John. John got is it a new reel you talking about or the wild? Reel, lose. He got he got some, a couple of new lose reels. And look, this is what he said. He said he he got mixed emotions. Mixed emotions. You know, it, it, it like he talking to it to to what? Uh, 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 his, his wife uh, mixed emotions. What that mean? Oh well, anyway, that's what he said. But uh, what you going what you gonna do? Take them back, man? No, I ain't taking them back. Okay. I will I will give them to you, but you won't get that on small mouth. Now you ain't getting. Oh, I I, well, I, I man, don't I don't I don't think I want them, man. No. I don't, I don't want mixed emotions. Hey, <laughs> 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 John. Hey, John, John, John. That one right there, man. Hey, man. Probably old my baby. I don't know. No, you ain't on. Oh, yes, you are. Oh. Yeah, that's two hours wait. Go ahead and go three. That's probably why you ain't getting none. 
I got one. You're a oh, it's a fish though. That's a little one. He going back. Let's see what John got here. Let's see what John got. Let's see. He, he, he might be a keeper size. You ain't even throw that on bike, man. On big buttons, big one. You keeping that one, John? Yeah. Hey, look like he gonna keep everything, y'all. You, you keeping everything, man? Hey. Everything. Hey, hey dude, I'm gonna invite you to the house to eat. Hey, look, man, throw something back, bro. Hey, I feel like you want me to go on empty handed. So hey, my it wife, is what it is. All right, so my all right, wife man. Can trust me, y'all, and be like, where is this all shit? Right. You throw the wet fish. You ain't got no fish. I know you went fishing, then. Then I'm, I'm gonna get hit upside the head. Oh, oh, you know oh! I get it now. You know I, I get it now. I, I, I understand why he's keeping fish now. Like you, talk, you know your wife will jack your butt up too. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. I see why you keeping now, man. Why you tell him that story? Oh, think one might be up here. Let's see if he's still up here. I don't know. I think he might have got off. No, he's still up here. Little one though. That baby fish. That baby one. Now this one here is not big enough. Yep. Throw him bite. Like one bite net. Look at that. Oh yes. Yeah, he feel like a bell of one. I think this here's a cooler fish here. Come on, come on up here. There we go. Yeah, I think I'll put him in the cooler. Oh, uh, he he took that hook down there too. Yeah, I'll keep him. See if I get my tool. <coughs> See if I get this here. Get him out. Yep. See that tool right there. That's good for unhooking fish. Yes. Get them in the cooler. Yeah. Hey, come here. Another. Going back. Yeah. No, sir. Going back, man. All right. About to clean these mullet that we caught off the, uh, the fishing pier, CV fishing pier. This is Fish King's back for catch and cook today. Hope everyone is doing fine. Um, getting things set up right now. So uh, just kind of bear with me. I'm going to clean up a few of these uh, mullet and show you exactly how. I like to clean my fish um, and I do this primarily across the board for the type of fish that uh that I catch but anyway 
Uh, let me finish getting things set up and I'll be back with you. Anyway, let me show you what I got. I got the fish laid out here. Um, here you go. These are the mullet that I kept from our fishing trip. And so I'm going to clean these mullets. How many I got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. About 13, 14. About 13, 14 mullet here. Um, I don't need to keep as many as I used to because my children are all grown and out of the house. So it's just my wife and I. And, uh, and I. Now she's not going to help me clean fish, but she definitely, <laughs> she's going to help me eat them though. But anyway, hey look, we're going to get started here so you can see exactly how I, I prefer to clean my fish. All right, that's what I got here. This is my electric fishing knife, or uh, Mr. Twister. And I like an electric fishing knife because I don't have to worry about chopping it a whole lot. So uh, it works good for me. So here we go, let's, let's clean one of them. All right. First thing I like to do, go right behind the gill plates here. Cut down till it hits the bite bone. Do the same thing over here. Right behind the gill plate, go down until you feel that bite bone. Now, from here, I don't, I don't like to scale my fish a lot because they get kind of messy. And really, I just like to fillet my fish. So once I do that, I go back in there and I turn that knife, turn that blade right till it hit that bite bone. And look, make sure you don't cut through the tail now. Just cut right at the tail. Turn it over, do the same thing, all right, make sure you feel for that bite bone, feel for the bite bone, now it's a little windy out here, but uh, I hope you can hear me pretty good. All right, now, once I do that, the fish is still attached here. So now, I'm just going to uh, take all that pretty meat off. All right, swamp a leg, flip it. Same thing on this side. All right. So at this point, I got two fillets off. And I got to get the rib cage out. And then I'll show you what the, uh, the whole fillet looks like after it's clean. All right, just clean the fish now. So this is what the fillet look like. See that right there? Pretty fillet, nothing but me. And here's the other one, nothing but me. See that? Now that's how I clean the fish. No skin, just pure meat. Now. Here's the fish, after it's clean. 
See the guts still attach. And some people don't might not like to look that look at that, but I uh, just want to briefly show you what the fish looks like after it's done. So look, that's how I clean my fish. Um, but after this, look, we're gonna have uh, I'm gonna cook some for you, and I'm probably gonna I don't know I might just cook it on the way and put it on top of a salad, just something simple for the day. But anyway, uh, look, uh, stay tuned because uh, I'm gonna fry up some today, and uh, we're gonna see what it tastes like. We we'll get back with you. Yes, sir. Hmm. Toss it around a little bit. What's up, everybody? She uh, she getting old taters ready. It's gonna be some good eating. I already got the fish breaded right here. And this this the breader that I'm using right here. What is it? House Altry uh, uh, Original Crunchy Recipe. That's a good flavor. You should try if you haven't. But anyway, we are about to get started. We're going to have a salad too. In fact, let me show you that salad. Really? In the refrigerator? Uh-huh. Let me get that salad out. This is what we're gonna have also. Doesn't that look delicious? <laughs> My wife put that together. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And also, one more thing. Right in the oven. Got some potatoes cooking. Let's get some on, let's see here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yes, sir. It's going to be some good eating tonight. Ain't right, hon? That's the truth. Wife said, that's the truth. <laughs> We're going to throw down. All right, let me move this around a little bit. Let me get a few more in here. Three more. All right, got a couple more. I mean, more. One more. All right. Is that all right? Yep, that's it right there. All right, that was 